What's happening everybody? How's it going? Welcome back. Um, today we are going to be removing this off of the chassis because my theory is um, the more I can take off this so that when we change it the quicker and easier it will be. Uh, if you haven't already um, go over to my Instagram at Josh's Landy Life and you'll see a few videos on the story I put on there of how rotten this chassis actually is um, but please go and have a look at that because it's unreal just there's some bits here anyway so I've already taken this off that was easy that pin goes in those holes so that wasn't too bad uh, I'm now about to undo this bolt here if you guys can see uh, right, now I'm going to undo this bolt that goes through the chassis here. That's pretty easy. I've got a spanner on it in there. This uh, the other side might be a little bit easier slash harder. I'm not sure because <laughs> that's my chassis rail um, and the bolt I've got to undo. Well, that's the bit you shouldn't see. Um, so yeah, um, and that's there. For that, I'm thinking a grinder. <laughs> Um, and then I think we'll uh, undo the bolts that are underneath here, take that off, and like I say, the more I can get off this and the rest of it that we don't need for now, we'll do. So let's do it. I can't believe that's undo. the wind I'm gonna rename my house Hurricane Alley for some reason where my driveway is the wind just seems to blow straight up there and it's always really windy freaking annoying because it's all right today because it's warm but when it's cold it makes it really cold and so yeah here you go I don't think the next one's going to be as easy. We'll get these bolts in here. You guys can see that. I don't even know what to do with rust. There's so much rust. And that's not even a big bit. Really? I just need that off. I'm thinking hacksaw, because I haven't got a grinder at the moment. Okay, don't buy cheap shit from the range. to the bowl. <laughs> oh, 
Jeez. This is a bit of brute force sneaker and so I have to apologise. But like I mean what is the worst that can happen here? Jeez, that's that right there. That is the the whole chassis fucked apart from that bit. That bit. Damn, I need to buy some tools. Going on Facebook. Nothing. Yay. Okay, well that's free. Good. Next bit. Under it, I think. Okay. Right, I'm going to take these bolts off. I've put some penetrating fluid on them. Some WD-40. Wow, so that might be a spanner job. Where's my spanner? Okay, I've got one on. It's undo it. Oh, at the moment. Oh, oh kinda. It's snapped. There's a surprise. Sorry. I'm in a bit of a sarcastic mood. I'm looking for something. What am I looking for? That. That is what I'm looking for. Joe, yeah, one thing I have worked out working on Land Rovers. You need to be a bloody gymnast. you got to get yourself in some angles. We a snapper or we a, a come around or place your votes. I think it's a snapper. Like it's brother. Or is that a good sound? So my theory is once I get this off, buy new bolts for it, paint it all up, make it look nice and new. Same old shit. Oh people who said it was an Andura. Great, you're gonna get in trouble. Um, you win. Is it undone? Look at that. Holy sugar about. monkeys. Come on. Does that have to be on there? 
it's no, this is just a hitch, but it's one less thing to take off. I uh, need to take it off. Yeah, alright, well, I might just put it off. Snap's gonna hurt my leg. I hope the camera's looking at you. Jack, this is really heavy. It's heavy ish. I'm just worried about that stuff. With help, I'll put this off on the floor, and what I'll do is I'll um, tidy it up, sand it all down, give it a paint. But it's one less thing to take off this heap when uh, the time comes, which is good. I'm pleased with that. I thought it was just going to pull through there, but it didn't. So, yes, this bloody thing's heavy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Right, so that is that little rear hitch off. And man, she put up a few. She put up a serious fight. But then, looking at the bottom of that chassis, I'm not surprised. Um, but yeah, she's a beast. I can't believe how heavy the bloody thing is. I mean, that's got to be like, oh, I reckon that's like 30, 40 kg, that. If not more. And you got to think, that's just sitting there, doing nothing. You know, I'm nearly kill a lip. Okay, yeah, he's a beast. Anyway, we've got that tidied up, get that painted, cleaned up, ready for the new chassis. That won't go back on until obviously the new chassis has been put on, but you can kind of see where I was going. Uh, the most I can take off this, but I still might need to move it, so obviously I've got to be a bit careful. Um, but like, you know, trivial stuff like tow bar, tow bar. Um, I don't know. I'll have a look around and see what else I can take off. Um, so the less when it comes to it that I can take off and have to put back on, bloody blah, blah blah. When the new chassis goes on and off, that'll be handy. So as you can probably tell at the moment, um, a lot of the stuff I'm doing is just stuff that I can kill time with because obviously I'm saving up for the most expensive thing, which is the chassis. And we're getting on really well with that. We are getting on well. I'll probably do an updated video at some point showing how long um, and progress we've got left on that, that side of things because my theory is I want to get the most expensive thing done and out of the way first. So, yeah, once I get that done, we can really crack on with some bits because at the moment, everything obviously I'm saving is going towards that, whereas once that's, that big job has been done, I know there's obviously things I need to do while we're changing the chassis, which I've kind of got to work out. But once that big job is done, the massive elephant in the room, we can then really start cracking on with some really cool bits, you know, like I can spend some money on some other things like cool wheels and roof racks and, and other things, interior. But at the moment, it still stands that my main goal is to get it roadworthy. MOT'd, on the road, tax insured, blah, 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 on the road, good to go. And then once we've done that, we move on to stage two, which is making it awesome. Well, you got, you can't, what is it? You can't make lemon aid out of lemon or something like that. Or something like that. Anyway, I'm waffling. That was a nice little video. I'm gonna edit it down a bit, make it a little bit shorter. But yeah, you can see that I was just having a bit of fun with that. Um, so yeah, uh, again, apologize for the fact there hasn't been a video recently. Um, I'm really busy at work, uh, what being the end of term, because um, well, I basically work at school. Um, 
and uh, so I've been really busy with that. And yeah, again, I just haven't been able to pour the money into this yet because I'm just pouring the money into the chassis. So once I get the chassis done, we'll be away. So yeah, apologies for the lack of videos and content, but trust me, stick with it, it'll come. And it'll come in a wave of excitement. So cheers guys. Thanks ever so much for watching the video. And um, any questions, put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Um, we're doing really well with the channel at the moment. Um, everything that's going really well people watching videos subscribing and all that which is great and i can't believe how much interest my knackered old land rover is getting because i am shocking at making these videos because <laughs> i hate watching them back anyway thanks for watching cheers guys bye